Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Tim and this is Run Tall. And if you are new, welcome to the Run Tall family. I'm really glad that you're here and you found us on YouTube. Now I post running videos every single day. Could be running shoe reviews, comparisons, and shoe battles. But I like to post a lot of other videos that are related to running as well. Like training, recovery, and gear reviews. So if you're into that kind of thing or... Maybe you're just looking for a daily dose of running. Consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. Now for today, I had a recovery workout scheduled. Uh, however, I've been on my mountain bike. I've been doing some cross training. And this is going to be my first time trying to run in about three weeks because I've been dealing with some hip flexor and abductor pain. But to do it, I'm going to use a lever system. Now, this is a system that I purchased some time ago when I was dealing with some shin splint pain, and it worked out really well for me then. It allowed me to start running probably much sooner than I otherwise could have. So I'm thinking I'm going to give this a try today and see how that works out, You know, see if I'm able to run a little bit uh, using that system and hopefully not do any more damage or set me back in terms of you know my healing and recovery process. But if it doesn't work out, that's okay. You know, I've still got my mountain bike and other things I can do in order to be able to train and prepare for the Chicago and the New York Marathon. Now, this is my this is my cat Spartacus. So as I wait, my, make my way up the stairs to get my lever system dug out of the closet because I haven't used it in a while. So this is this is my cat Sparty, and then uh, the lever system itself. Uh, you know, <clears throat> it um, there's not a whole lot to it. Actually, it, it's uh, it's a system of brackets and bungee cords and pulleys that all work together to help you offload some of your weight. Uh, so that way, you know, you don't uh, re-injure yourself or do any more damage. Hopefully, you know, it, it allows you to return to running a little bit faster um, than, like I said, you otherwise might be able to do. So there's just, there's only, I think, what, four component parts to it. So you've got the two base pieces and you've got uh, pieces that just kind of snap on each side of it. So you've just got that cradle basically that you build and then you loop through a bungee cord that you straps on and it goes through a specially designed pair of shorts and it has, it has pulleys on each side of those um, that the, that the uh, bungee cords go through. And so imagine an adult size um, like bouncy chair that you might see for an infant. That's basically the same idea. And you have the opportunity though, depending on how much tension you put on that bungee cord, uh, is how much weight that you're going to offload. And now you can offload as much as like 85% of your weight. Now I'm not going to do that because uh, I don't think there's any need to, to quite go that extreme. But I'm going to definitely offload some of my weight and give this a try on the treadmill. All right, so I'm going to pack things up and head out the door. I'm, I'm headed to my local gym because I, ha I have a couple of treadmills, but they're foldable, foldable treadmills, and they're simply not big enough. You need a full-size treadmill in order to be able to set this device up on, and it secures pretty well to the handles that are there. So uh, that's the plan for today, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Um, I will uh, I'll give you uh, some actual footage of me using the lever system there at the gym. And while that's playing, I'll, I'll go ahead and put up my stats. But I'd, the stats for today are not going to be all that impressive because I don't intend to you know, go full out by any stretch. So uh, instead, I'm just going to do a light jog. So, you know, just just enough to test my abductor, my hip flexor to see how that's coming along. And like I said, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will go well. But if it doesn't, that's okay. That just means that I know where I'm at, hopefully, and I'll know what I need to do next afterwards. So, all right, let's, uh, let's head on out to the gym and get this one done.
Oh, so I just got done with a recovery run. It was the first time that I've run in a while. And it's been exactly three weeks ago today, in fact, is when I stopped running. Uh, just to try to take care of this abductor and hip flexor pain. Uh, you know, the hip flexor didn't bother me at all. The abductors, um, they weren't quite as healed as I had hoped them to be. Uh, but using the lever system absolutely helped because I can offload a pretty good amount of my body weight. And, you know, you still feel like you're getting a pretty solid workout. And it's just so nice to be running again, even if I'm hooked up to some contraption like the lever system to make it happen. Uh, I was in the uh, Hoka Gaviota 5s today. You know, they did, a, they did a good job for someone like myself who overpronates. So, you know, it's a stability shoe. That's their job. And they did a good job today. All right. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you'd like to be highlighted on an upcoming video, you can send me an audio or a video file to runtall2020 at gmail.com. If you just want to you know, record yourself saying hi to the Runtall family, that would be fantastic. Or if the file is too big, so maybe you want to get uh, a little bit adventurous and take us out on one of your trail runs or maybe a run around your city or town, uh, you can upload larger files to Google Docs and uh, share it with me using that same email address. All right, with that, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.